the sharp tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And today, if you ain't seen my man, he was yoking on shit in the movie Hustle, man, for real. He was dunking on shit, man, going crazy. I got my man, Elvin Rodriguez, in the building today, morning, ladies man. and gentlemen. How you doing today, man? Pretty good, man. Can't complain, bro. Thank you for bringing me on, for, for sure. For sure, man. Sure. You, uh, from, you from around here? Or you, uh... No, I'm from Harlem, New York, originally. So you flew in? Yeah, well, now I'm, I've been living out here now for the past yeah. year, you know, ever since the movie came out, but yeah, yeah man, just trying to... You know, do it out here, man. Yeah. How's it been for you, man, like doing film and everything? It's been pretty good, to be honest, but that was my first film I've ever done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got lucky during the pandemic, um, because, you know, during the pandemic, ain't nobody knew what the hell he was doing. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> I'm right. I'm in the curve, like, dang, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with the rest of my life. All I knew was basketball in school, you know? Yeah. Um, And just being under a specific system. And when that pandemic hit, I was like, it seemed like when the pandemic hit, it changed for a lot of people. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's when I start trying some shit. Like, mm-hmm. or it just, it just happened, bro. It was like, I think that was a time where people were watching a lot of shit. There yes. wasn't nothing else to do. Yep. I agree too, man. Like, to be honest, I didn't know that I could make music, act, or any of that stuff. Because I was so used to waking up, going to practice, going to school, doing the same thing all over mm-hmm. and over again. So it kind of like, you kind of like forget that, oh, shit. Like maybe maybe I do have like other talents that yeah, I tap it, into. So they fucked up and gave yeah. me time is what it was. That's what it was. Gave people time to really think about what they can actually do or be great at. Because I, I feel you on that, bro. Like mother, they wake up, they don't got time to worry about something that they may like because they got to go get some money to put some food on the exactly. table. They got to go, like you said, repeat that system exactly. every day. You mm-hmm. know. So that shit is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like when I look at it, like. How could you ever think about something when you work in a ten hour shift? Like 100%. last thing you last thing you want to do when you come home is worry about something like that. You want to take a shower, grab a plate to eat, maybe catch you a flick and rub on something soft. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. I don't you know, think he's trying to do nothing extra at that point, you know. So I think, yeah, I feel you. When the pandemic, when it did hit, it shut a lot of stuff down. So all people had to do was sit back and think, you know. And exactly. I think, you know, I think I think smart ones like yourself found some type of different transitions, man, to get into, man. And look how it worked out for you. I mean, it's doing great. It's been doing great, man. And just like the love you get from it is mm. kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, the, all, all I knew was basketball, right? And like right. growing up, I would stand stand in front of like my grandma's TV and just start talking to myself. My grandma walk in like, yo, what, what are you doing? Mm. I, I'm like, grandma, I just want to be on TV one day. I don't care mm. if it's basketball, acting, music. Like, I just want to be on TV. You know what I'm saying? Just just inspiring the hood too, man. Cause you know, yeah. I, I grew up in Harlem. Yeah. And it's like the way it's just set up, it's set up so that you don't Tell you me like, and the viewers a little bit about that. Like what was that experience like for you growing yeah, up in Harlem? I mean, growing up in Harlem, bro, like all I knew was basketball and school. Yeah. And grandparents. Like I could barely go outside because, you know, half half the week, like somebody was getting shit on my, my, my grandma's paranoid because something she seen on the news. So she's like, yo, you I don't want you outside. Right. She wanted to happen to her grandbaby. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like it was kind of hard and just being around that type of environment kind of like kind of like restricted my brain a little bit cuz you know How I would get feel? down on myself a lot cuz I'm Why like you feel like it restricted you. Because like you know you would see all these great things all these NBA players doing great and I'm just like yeah. man like always wondering to myself like how how am I going to get there you know or how how am I going to be able to take my family out of this circumstance. But um you know, just just sticking with the the dream, sticking with the vision. Yeah. Kind of like led me to another place, you know. Yeah. And that's just like influencing, playing professionally, playing Division One, and being on a Netflix movie, bro. So it's like that had to have been crazy. What was it like for you being on the movie Hustle and working with Adam Sandler? Man, Adam Sandler, he's cool. He's cool, bro. He's yeah. like one of the most down to earth people I've ever met, man. Like, yeah. dude, we in Mallorca, Spain. That's where they film my scene. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> I thought you was from over there, bro. I thought like they just came over there and grabbed yeah. a few niggas because you was speaking that shit fast yeah. with them, bro, and, yeah. and had that that vibe to it from what comes from Spain. You know, just that culture because it's beautiful. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's it, crazy. It, man, it was wild, and he pulls up, and it's like Range Rover with these long basketball shorts and like a long tee and I'm looking at him like he not serious right now. Bro, it's like, bro, you like 
I'm looking, I'm like, bro, this guy's worth this much. Just dressing so regularly, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That just kind of like made me feel even more comfortable, like approaching him. And ex- I was right, like, he's a friend, he's a good friend, loves yeah. to hoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It so, seems like he loves the game. He bro. loves the game, yeah, man. For it sure. do. It seemed like he loved the game because he's always like trying to be. He's always been involved in some in some of his movies. He's always got like some basketball, basketball or something, shot, yeah, yeah. something, something yeah. that even pertains to it or even walks around some I'm type of to, sports. Even yep. you know, that's that's crazy, man. He's a uh, yeah. I definitely grew up watching some of his stuff, man. And then I just I, I watched I watched the movie Hustle, and then I saw you. I was like, man, this dude over here, like, who is this dude? And then come to find out. <laughs> You from around here? I was like, man, I didn't even know if he speak English because the way you was y'all was yeah. over there was it, it looked very real. Yep, you know, yep, the people yep. were involved. It was it was crazy for you and and basketball. Um, do you do you plan on like trying to do like a G League? You trying to do something? Or? You know, it's crazy, bro. A lot of people have been asking me like, you know, yo, you you gonna take this prof- like basketball serious or whatnot? Yeah. I play professionally, right? And then. Uh, after I played professionals, when also the pandemic hit, I went home and like during the pandemic, they weren't allowing nobody to play basketball. So I had left my crib one day, you know, the news was like, oh, if you leave your house, whoop you whoop, you're going to get locked up past a certain time. And I'm just like, okay, I don't care at this point. I remember that. Yeah, they was like, doing them, them curfews. Curfews. I'm like, That bro, shit was crazy. Not even my, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, I'm a 22-year-old with curfew. That's kind of crazy now mm-hmm. at this point. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm going to go find me a hoop and I'm a hoop. Mm-hmm. And so I did just that. And as I'm climbing this gate, this guy pulled up. He's like, yo, 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 Elvin. I'm like, damn, this is an undercover cop. I'm like, you about to get me. Like, but in reality, he was like, bro, I, I know I seen you playing Dykeman, which is a tournament back home in New York City. It's like a big streetball tournament. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Why, what's up? He's like, you should try for this movie. They, they need a Spanish basketball, you know, speaking character. I'm just like, I'm gonna give this. A sh- I'm gonna give this a shot because you know I, I can't go wrong. You know. Right, right. What's the worst can happen? The worst they turn you happen? back and you go home. Exactly. So I gave it a shot, and then like a week later, I'm getting a call back. They're like, "Yo, we we need you." I'm like, "What? Oh, this is crazy." So did I, did I know I'm on a flight on my way to Mallorca? And, you know. So a lot of people they ask me like, "Yo, oh, are you, they first class?" Yeah, first class. Yeah, there we go. We got to talk about it. I just needed to know, bro. I needed to know. Hold on. Did they? Did they? Did they put you together right? They did that. They did that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You say you. I I got. I got to touch on it. You know, I wanted you to finish, but I I had to ask. Like, did you? You say you played professional. Yeah. You played professional ball. Yeah, in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Man, how? You know what? It seems like a lot of players do that, man. Yeah, bro. They just say, "Fuck it," like I'm Mm -hmm. going overseas, bro. Like. I'm gonna go play ball overseas, and it'd be some dope players, yeah, you know. But maybe, what, what do you feel? Do you feel like motherfuckers do that because they can get better shine over there, better, you know, incentives, mm-hmm. you know, from the situation than they would playing over here in an American league? I think it's more so the experience. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because hmm. like the way the NBA makes it seem is like almost impossible to make it. Yeah, they but do. You know bro. what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, they do, bro. But now you start hearing about these teams in in, in different countries, and you like. Nah, nah, hold on, hold on. This, this guy went overseas. I bet I could go overseas. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's like out there, bro, literally, you could get your shine on wherever. Like, and they show a lot of love, a lot of genuine love. Hmm. You know, these are people that, you know, don't have the access that we do out here in the States. Yeah, we take it for granted. And we take here. it for granted we take sometimes. It for granted. You feel me? So it's like out there, it's like, yo, nah, this is a. We we like him, and it's not even about your name. We'll boo superstars right. here, like, and we over there, they over there praising people right. who ain't even on a LeBron type of you status or somebody of that nature. <laughs> I feel it. And then they come back to the states, and then they regular, you know. Yeah. But then you tell everybody about the stories, yo, yo, overseas, I'm the king. Like, that's I'm why motherfuckers leave and don't come back. You feel me? Like that's why they leave and don't come back. It all makes sense I'm now. To tell you, it's bro. like why not go get where you can get your love. Your you love, know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I'm telling you, I, I say it all the time, bro. If you feel good, you gonna play good, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you look good, you gonna perform good, bro. Yeah. That's how you see a bunch of superstars pulling up in their fly fits. You know, you know, probably just got a massage the day before. Or, yeah. You know, a lot of fan love, and it's like, nah, nah, nah. I'm, I got to do my job. Yeah. You know, you don't got to worry about all the other things, you know? So. Yeah. Because we definitely, I think uh, us as NBA fans over here, we definitely like hold the motherfucker accountable. Right. Like, so right. they can have a bad day. You better not come up in here playing bad because right. we about to make it worse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> it's bro? Crazy, bro? Straight up, some of the fans are crazy in some cities. How long did you uh, 
How long did you play pro over there? I played pro just for six months, bro. Yeah. And then the pandemic hit, and it was like they had to send us back home. And it's funny because Damn. I had gotten drafted to the LMB, which is the League National Basketball. It's kind of like the NBA in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Like if you make it to that league, you're stamped. Mm -hmm. So I had gotten drafted, and I had to turn it down because I wanted to do this movie. Damn. It's like Netflix versus the, the pro pro bowl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I'm like, I, I gotta go with Netflix. I why probably, couldn't they? Why couldn't you have that worked out for you? Did the times not? The, it? it was yeah. The times didn't in the line. You know what I'm saying? And it's just yeah. like, oh, okay, we'll find somebody else. It's that fast. Right, because they ain't gonna fuck around they, they, and wait yeah, for yeah, you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, cool. We we have another player that wants it. You know. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll let somebody else get that. You know, it's something I've been working for my entire life. But then this other opportunity comes knocking at my door, and it's Netflix, and I'm just right. like, nah, nah, hold on, I got, I got to, I got to reevaluate certain things. This, this might be my calling, bro. You know? Yeah, you were, bro. You for the time you was in the movie, it was, it was outstanding, bro. It brought a lot of energy in your sure. scene. It had a lot going on, so that's why I, I feel you on that. But I'm like, damn, bro, just to. That's that's something you've been working on all your life too, mm -hmm. bro. Like you've mm -hmm. been waiting to get out of that yeah, shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, d to weigh the options, movies or basketball. Which one do you feel like you could find? A, I mean, you could find a longevity in them both. Yeah, that's what know? I'm saying. And less, and I mean, shit for Netflix is less harm on your body. Shit, <laughs> you go out, do some shit. Like a nigga don't gotta do a whole bunch of extra everything. Right. You know, so. Right. I do get that, homie, for real. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. the minute I moved out here, I'm just like, bro, I could I could do do it all. You could act, you could hoop, you know what I'm saying? And it's not putting no restriction to yourself. In my name in the movie, in my name in the movie, my name is like Mr. Everything. Yeah. And I try to like, I took that, I'm like, damn, okay, Mr. Everything. And not to look at it from like no cocky way, but like I feel like I could do it all, you know what I'm saying? Except, I mean, I could dance a little bit, but I could hoop, I could make music, I could act. Like, it's, it's no limit to what you could do. Do you, you know? feel like you started to find this out about yourself more when that pandemic hit because you got to sit 100%, down? 100%. Like you yeah. said earlier, timing. Yeah. That's that, they, you know what I'm saying? That's the. <laughs> the timing is timing, everything, bro. bro. You just hit it. You know what it is? Everything just hits at the right time. And you know what? I feel you on that, bro. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to harp on you to say, like, damn, because I'm looking at it. I'm like, me personally, I probably would have took the basketball contract. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. just me personally. But then when I start to look at it, it's like, a motherfucker can be great at anything they set themselves right. to. So sometimes right. you you gotta gamble. Right. You can't right. sometimes you can't do everything. Sometimes you gotta really gamble, man. You know what I'm saying? Be like, all right, well, fuck it. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go here. You know, even though I probably got less experience in that department. Right. Because you don't seem like you've been acting all your life. Nah. You was playing basketball all right. your life. Do you think now see in the movie Hustle? You did a basket. That was a basketball scene. Absolutely. Do you feel like you can do things outside of that, 100%. other than just playing basketball in somebody's film? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I could do. I feel like I could be in a dr dramatic movie, like a drama movie. I'm, yeah. I'm very dramatic sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yeah. Like, it's. I, f I found this out when I was working with my. You should keep it a band, bro. I'm not mad. At yeah, it, bro. you sometimes I got You got to yeah. be dramatic, bro. Cause yeah. like. You might not get it your way. And now, now I see how a bunch of females, they get it their way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, oh, my God. I can't do this. Well, I can't do that. And then it's like, you know, all right, fine. Here, here you go. Like, no worries. But I feel like I could tap into, like, drama. Um, pretty much anything they put in front of me, I feel like I could do, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You don't know unless you try. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I feel like I, I definitely see myself more in, like, in the drama side of things or that serious role. I like serious roles, bro. You, you coming out. Off this movie and it, it being a hit. Yep. How's it changed for you and your life, like the people around you? Oh yeah, it's changed a lot of people around me, bro. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, bro. Like, you know, everybody's like, "Yo, how? How did you do that? Yo, bro, put me on, put me on." Same people that you know would look at me back then and just not even pay mind to me. Yeah. It's just another regular basketball player from New York. It's crazy when and it's like that, um, bro. No, me? but they've been seeing you. They just never really no. fucked with you, yeah, bro. That's, that's exactly all it is. is. Saw you get on. Now everybody, oh, man, I always knew. Yeah, we know right. him. We've always fucked with him. Right. He ain't never fucked that's with my, me. That's my cousin. That's my cousin. Nigga, we ain't related in no sense, shape, or form, for, nigga. You know what I mean? For real. Like, but but it's all good though, bro, because that means you're doing something right, right? Like it 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 is. You know, I try to I tend to look at things in a positive way, right? Like right. it's like, okay, maybe there was a reason at that time why they wasn't fuck with me at the time. You know, yeah. I get down on myself. I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? Why I can't rock with these niggas or why can't why can I not mess with 
with such and such. But in reality, it was all because of moments like now, bro. Yeah, well, you your know life has definitely changed now, bro. And it's for the better. For the better. But I just want you to know in a piece of game I want you to leave with today, mm -hmm. just know that not everybody can go with you, bro. Yeah. Remember that, yeah. homie. Like, for real. Because it seemed like you got a good heart and you like to put a helping hand to situations. Yeah. Me too, bro. But sometimes you got to know, man, you can't take everybody with you, That's homie. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And everybody's going to make it seem like you're supposed to, but don't listen to that shit. Yeah. You're not, no, man. Take take care of you. Grab who you can grab and get gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm sure, saying? Bro. Yeah, I would love to see you in some other some other films, man. I would, man. I'd like to see you in some other things because like I said, you you definitely killed it with that, man. For yeah. real, for real. That's the goal for sure, bro. Yeah. I want to keep on with this. And you got a you you have a manager? I don't. No. I don't got a manager. Oh, I've been doing you don't got a manager, church. Freelancing, bro. I've been freelancing everything, bro. You should come on, let me, bro. We'll you know get you moving. Get we'll get you moving, bro. Yeah, bro. I didn't know that, bro. We'll get you moving, bro. Everything's been freelance, bro. Hey, really, bro. Hey, but you know what? You definitely, and it's a mo game for you, mm -hmm. and all jokes aside, you definitely do need to get somebody around you that has your best interest 100%, homie, mm -hmm. and is constantly shopping you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and putting you out there to where you got different roles that you can go fuck with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just even try out. Also, um, do some get some acting classes going. Keep yeah, those yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Some improv. Like yeah. it just keeps you sharp. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. To where like you're not just waiting and then when you get in there, like you you're rusty because you ain't been on a on a set in a year. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Sure, Kinda bro. just like it, it it I know it's time consuming, bro, but if this is what you're gonna do, you're gonna have to put time to it just like you did for basketball and you were shooting shots, right. man, even after the game. Right. Before the game started and after the game. You got to do the same thing, bro. Right. 100%, for real. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This one, this one isn't just to keep the body sharp. You gotta keep the mind sharp too sharp. in this one. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Get that shit going, bro. Your ass will get moving. Yep. You'll get moving, bro. You say you only 22? 24. 24? Yeah. yeah. Damn, bro. 24. Y'all young, man. It's getting money. I like I, I like that though, like but but especially coming from your background, where was your parents at, man? You see my parents. See, you was with your grandparents. Yeah, I was. I, reason why I said I was with my grandparents a lot was because like my parents had me at a at like a very young age, so they was always working. You know what I'm saying? And that's all they knew at the time, just like work, work, work. I got right. a kid. They had it. You know they had. I'm not gonna say I was a mistake, but like at the time it wasn't. I probably was at the right time, but you know shit was just different, bro. Back then for them, so. You never a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever say that in your life. Yeah. You're a gift. Look at what you've brought to the table. Facts. Look at what you brought, man. Look where your you took your life. It's always the people. It's fucked up, but it's a it's a it's an ugly truth, but it's a truth nonetheless. Mm -hmm. It's always the people that are the most gifted that think like that. Yeah. Like, damn, was I a mistake? Damn, I probably wasn't supposed to be here. Damn. I don't get the I don't get the certain type of love that I watch my friends grow up with their parents and you know they always had good relationships with their parents. You know, every kid wants to have a relationship with, you know, their parents, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. But I feel like bro, we a lot of like when it comes to that because all you did was you took that fire and you was like, man, I gotta do something. Uh -huh. Even when it was basketball before the acting. Yep. You know, and you just trying to go play pro overseas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still had a vision, bro. You still had a purpose. You knew it wasn't over for you. I watch a lot of these kids, they get caught up in the bullshit, get lazy, get fucked up, end up going to jail, just end up not being nothing. And they had both their parents. Yeah, yep, yep. Think about it, bro. 100%, bro. You know, I knew a lot of kids that was like that. Be like, damn, bro, you got your mom and your dad. Like, you still fucking up. Like, it's, it's just, it's crazy, man, for real. Just take that shit as a, as a blessing, man. You got a gift. For sure, for sure. For sure. You got a fucking gift, bro, for yeah. real. Appreciate that, bro, for real. Yeah, where the, you got a relationship with them? You nah, talk yeah, to for them? sure, but I talk to them every day. Yeah. Every day, you know what I'm saying? Your making parents, sure I'm talking good. about your parents. My, yeah, my parents. I talk to them every day and making sure they okay, you know, mentally, spiritually, because, mm -hmm. like, you know, they still working. They still mm -hmm. working, and at the end of the day, my, my end goal is to get them to the point where they don't really got to work as hard, you know? Cause like I'm not the only child. I'm the oldest child, but I'm not the only How child. How many kids is it? It's four, four of us. You the oldest? Yeah. Sisters, brothers? Yeah, two what? sisters, one brother. I got, yeah. I got another. One. I don't really jack enough because he, but yeah. but yeah, that's what you mean. What you give me his love? Nah, still. nah, nah, nah. It's, it's still, still love. It's still love. love. It's still love. It's be still love. Big, you you nah. in the bigger position? Yeah, so yeah. Nah, that's my that. brother. That's my brother. It's my brother. Yeah, so yeah be I got, that. I got a brother. Yeah, for sure, bro. So. But my little brother, that's my that's my everything right now, bro. And my two sisters, they they my everything right now, bro, for sure. So yeah, yeah, man. Y'all all grew up together. Grew up together. Yeah. See, 
I don't know if even the viewer caught on to that, like you saying that you your parents was around, but you was with your grandparents a lot because they worked. See, right. back in the day, that's what happened. You go to a family member's house. You ain't go to no motherfucking daycare. You ain't go get watched by some strangers in some building. Uh, uh, nigga, mm. you going over to your auntie's or you going to your grandmama house, Thanks. I got to go to work. You going over to such and such in them house <laughs> today. Like straight Thanks. up. Like that's how it was. It's not really like that no more. Like right. I don't see really that family orientation. People just be like, it's cool. I'll take my kid to fucking to daycare and go pay fucking eight to a thousand dollars a month for him to be there three <laughs> days out the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Take him to a family member's house. Get cool. And I guess some people don't have a, a bunch of family, but it seems like the family that some people people do have, they not even cool with them. It's like, if you don't got a lot of family, try to try to mend that shit, man, for you, what it is. You know what's crazy? I, I want to touch on that, bro, because like during the pandemic, that, that told me a lot, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It kind of showed me like, the only time families really do get together, bro, is like weddings, funerals, birthdays, you know, those kind of like Facts. Thanksgiving, but it's never Facts. just just cause. It's never just because. Like, I ain't seen that in a long you time, me, bro. Hey, we all over here cooking today, and then everybody, yeah, everybody by pull up. by the end of the day, everybody done made it over there. You, you know what I'm saying? And getting something to eat. I don't see, I, I don't see that no more, bro. Yeah, like bro. that that time is definitely come and gone. For real, bro. Like, Come on, man. Like, Kids don't even play outside no more, nah. bro. Mm -mm. Everything, you know, it's just changed, bro. It's wild, bro. But uh, it it should be a national holiday, like link up just cause. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Family, family mm -hmm. link up just cause. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, well, maybe that'll bring people together. I believe all these holidays, bro, they all man-made. And if you notice, all the holidays that we do deal with, they all come with spending money. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So Facts. it's all designed for you to have to spend money. Think about it. Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck even created that? If I'm <laughs> buying my bitch something, I buy her shit all the time. Why the fuck I need to buy you something on Facts. a certain day? What if I don't got it that day? Right, right. What if I don't want to spend it that right, day? right. But but the TV and all them, you know, all these Valentine's Day sales and yeah, sales man. and all this extra <laughs> shit, man. You know, come down down to the diamond store, <laughs> Valentine's Day, fifty percent off. You get down there, that shit still costs you an arm and a leg, homie. Y'all ain't take no fifty percent off shit. Straight up, bro. Right, like sure. all these all these holidays are designed, bro, to take money. Fourth of July, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Buy fireworks and fucking barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Fucking all these holidays, man. They all. They're, to me, they're all man-made, bro. Facts. They're I all man-made. I agree, bro. So I feel you on that. Like when you say, like, why can't we just do a day as a fam? To, people would be much. I, I encourage that. Yep. Me, like when it comes to like even people around me, I'd be like, man, get right with your fam, like mm -hmm. your people, like try, like, and they they do, and then they. They end up having a better relationship. Like, That's damn. Yeah, like, yeah. man, just listen to your people. But people don't like to listen to each other, especially they elders, bro. Don't I'm nobody saying. listen to them. Nobody give a fuck about that. <laughs> For real. They don't, they don't care no more, bro. Like, these kids, like, it's, they've lost all self-respect. Yeah. You know? And they wonder why they don't really get nowhere. It's just, it's drug time. Let's do drugs. No, man. Mm -hmm. Get your ass up, man, and go fucking do something. You know go experience some shit. Life is about experiencing things. Why bro, would you, know you ever have to go out, though, and go experience when everybody watches it on social on media, social media. Yeah, yeah. on the internet? Yep, yep. They experience through there. Right, right. That's how they'll right. experience it. Everybody, right. they don't, it's lazy, bro. It's instant gratification. They don't mind just watching it from afar real quick. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm living the moment with them. Facts. Go live that go shit, live that man. Shit, uh, sometimes I do wish, like, sometimes just shut it down for two weeks and let's see what people really yeah, do. Yeah, that's a challenge, bro. You'll see it's who a, people a, really are. Yeah, 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 for sure, bro. I agree. Sometimes I wish, like, we could just walk on a, on a even, like, going for a walk, bro, walking and talking. That's cool. That's great vibes, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk about or see some funny shit, you know, that's going on outside. You're like, oh. Oh, snap. That's just I like TV. I do. Nah, yeah, of I'll, course. I'll, of course. I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on it. Like, I like TV. I think I think it's cool. But there's nothing I love more than, like, a cocktail and a stimulating conversation. 100%. You can't buy that. Like, it's better than TV. Okay. This is better to me, like, sitting here just talking to you about just life and where you've been, your experiences, you, you know, touching this newfound fame and just coming up within, you know what I'm saying, just movies and things like okay. that. Like, I like this more than what I can sit on TV and hear. No, I want to hear it from somebody. I can sit bro. next to and we chop that shit up right, and we right. figure it out. Absolutely, bro. For sure, man. Appreciate that, man. For you know, sure. I do, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, man. Just even coming and rocking with yeah, me, bro. Yeah, what's yeah. the what's the goals for you? Like the next, like, what's your five year mixture, man? Like, where do you where do you see yourself to where we can all if, if the people want to check in on Elvin Rodriguez yep. five years from now, 
where can they expect to see you? Oh, 100 percent. Obviously, like, well, definitely in more movies for sure. Yeah, yeah. Definitely more movies. Uh, doing more um impact, more impact. I'm I'm working actually right now with a nonprofit called the Who Bus, and like it's a bus, two rims on each side of the bus. Yeah. And um, we basically travel cross country on a bus, giving back to communities, playing basketball, influencing, just being with the people. You yeah. know what I'm saying for the people. Have y'all already? So it's kind of like a tour. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually an NBA '75 commercial with Michael B. Jordan. Um, he was like on a bus, like coming inside a bus, and it's just like bringing people into the bus and following us on this journey. So yeah. like, I want I want people to like follow my journey. I've definitely seen myself in more movies, um, you know, traveling the world and impacting, bro. Just like the way I've been doing ever since I was young, showing people, yo, there's a way to do it in basketball. There's a way to do it in acting. There's a way to do it just being you, you know, for sure. So. I think I think um for basketball uh like a lot of kids they I don't know like kids don't want to be really I'm not saying every kid I'm mm -hmm. not saying that but mm -hmm. I just be thinking like a lot of these kids they don't really be wanting to be hands on with stuff like that they'd right. rather be more hands on with a pistol mm -hmm. with a gun right they'd rather be more hands on with that yeah. they want to go outside and prove something with that instead of trying to go down to the local park on me and shoot some hoop and try right. to you know what I'm saying right. show things they got game you that's know? cool that's way more cooler bro if you ask it, me it again. is it way is way more cooler it is but it, it's just it's the influence, it's bro. Fear, it's fear, you bro. know, so to hear you even be, it's like, man, we just trying to go around. We just trying to enlighten some of the kids, right. man. We just trying to hoop with them, show them, hey, man, you know, you can pick up a skill, you can pick up a gift, even if this is something bro. that you don't go do professionally. Mm -hmm. It's just something you can say that you've done. It's a tool, It'd you know. Your mind, it's bro. discipline. Just another bro. sense of discipline, man. Absolutely. That's what I like about that. I think that's dope. And I think one, at one point, bro, I was one of them kids. I thought it was cool, bro. Oh, cool. I thought it would bring girls. Oh, these girls feel safe. No, bro. Honestly, bro, like you know what's cool. Cool, bro, like getting your mom a crib, you mm. know what I'm saying? I think that's cool. Yo, I mean, school, I mean, if you like school or not, that's cool. But you know what I'm saying? Doing something, even like doodling, bro, that's art. That's yeah. art. Maybe you might find something just doodling. While the, I'm not saying like don't listen to the teacher, but like, bro, like follow your heart. That's yeah. cool. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, make an impact. That's cool. It's not necessarily the, the guns and the pistols and this, that, and the, You never that. went to a performing arts school or nothing? Nah, bro. I never, never Damn. in my life. Yeah, but I went to three different high schools, bro. Just traveling, just trying to, just going along with my intuition, just like, yeah. just, just envisioning like myself and just yeah. following wherever life. Because you would have did great in a magnet school, like a school that just, you know, what I'm saying, has that performing arts and yeah. just different. Like they don't really have that, bro, in mm -hmm. schools, man. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like you said, I went to three different schools. Yeah. You don't see them like really just yeah. funding, fucking putting a hell of money in this program <laughs> exactly. for kids to like, and they're really making it out. Kids right. are going to Broadway. Right. Kids are going to hear from this, from mm -hmm. this program that they started, 100%. bro. They're not putting money into that shit. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. You got to go to certain schools, and I don't like that. I feel like it should be granted to a, every school because maybe you would have picked this up a lot sooner and would have yeah. been in shit a lot sooner. Yeah. You had to you had to catch up on a on a wave on a whole different time. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Like but what if you would have had access at, at that as a youngster, a little bit younger than what you are today. Let's say 14, 15, right. you know what I'm saying? Ninth grade, your last high school, man, they got all that shit up in there to where and it's really busting these kids out to greater things. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's movies, commercials, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Fucking you just you name it, man. Even knowing how to get behind the camera and run right, shit. Right. They they don't they don't do that Maybe. shit, bro. You gotta pay for all that shit. I'm trying to tell you, bro. And it's crazy, bro. Like so even people, I know a lot of people don't even like being in front of the camera, but they like, you know, being behind the scenes and like orchestrating or giving advice. And those be the people mm -hmm. that are the most talented, to be honest. You are yeah. the talented one, but like they they like, yo, bro, maybe you should try this way, or maybe you should try that way. And then you guys both you know, yeah. collab on, on some, and it's just like, damn, you make magic out of that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's it's kind of crazy to me, bro. Like, you know, I think uh, I really, I, I'm grateful for my journey, for sure. You know, yeah. and there's much more. It's only, we only getting started here, but, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I am grateful for that kind of like. I think you got it, bro. I think that you're going to, you just keep moving, man. Keep staying focused. You know, I know it's probably hard for you, man, yeah. especially this shit changing, you know, because now it's putting a lot more people probably on your back with their hands out, bro. Mm -hmm. You can't say it ain't happening. I know it is, yeah. bro. Like, they done seen you. Oh, Elvin done made it. Hey, bro, <laughs> hey, can I hold a hundred? Can I hold a couple hundred, bro? <laughs> hey, let me get a little something real quick, <laughs> man. And these be people that never probably asked you for bread ever in ever, your life, bro. homie. Ever, bro. That's because they know you didn't have it. See, it's a difference. Yeah. Now yeah. they know you got it. Now everybody going to come up and change. Oh, I've been yeah. fucking with you, Elvin. <laughs> Been fucking with you. 
For real. Let me, get, let me hold a 50, man. Let me get 50, man. Yep. Get a 50 ball. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy. I don't know, y'all, man. Like, yeah, that's that's cold, man. But I really hope, man, that uh see you in the future, man, on big screen. Like I said to you, church, if you need some, hey, do what I said, man. Get yourself some representation. Yeah, that's man. the biggest thing. You bro. need that, bro, because you can only find so much. It's it's you need somebody that that's what they professionally do. That's what they're into, man. They go out and they'll find they'll source these gigs for yeah, you. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. That's pretty much the the little piece that I'm missing right now. Just representation, bro. Like, yeah. It was you know I've been freelancing. It's gotten me this far, bro. Yeah. But you know, um, I feel like with a little extra, that's that's the kick right there. You know what I'm saying? Got yourself in through the door, a little representation. Now it's like all right, boom. It makes it a little this. bit easier yeah, for exactly. you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you. You listen, I feel like this, homie. Your job is to worry about acting. Right. That's it. That's all. Not sourcing yourself out to talent, right. not having to deal with anybody and talk to them and try to make deals. That's right. not that's supposed to be out of your hands. Somebody should be taking care of that for you. Right, right. You know what for I'm me, saying? That's, that's the way I look at it. It's an opportunity, right? It's not yeah. more so about the dollar sign or whatever. Like it's great, bro. Yeah. My my goal, like, yeah, it's it's great to have money and stuff like that and grow from that, but Really, just putting myself out there and doing something I love, having fun again, experiencing. Right. You know what I'm saying the world, the, the people back home, they see that like, yo, bro, like now it changes their mind. Even if they thought it was like they were in a mess of situation, I came up, I came from the same situation as you. Yeah. So it's like, damn, you doing it bad. Now I want to do something positive. Now I want to do something good. Right. So that's just the way I look at it, you know. Yeah. More so, so. Yeah, yeah man. And being able to take care of myself and family as well, obviously, but yeah, you know. You want to get some M's out this shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, you sure. want to get some M's sure. out this shit. You ain't trying to do this yeah, shit for I'm a short time. Right way, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm trying to stay in it, bro, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I hope that we see you, Elvin. I, I, I fuck with you, and I appreciate, appreciate you for coming, homie. If there's anything that you ever need, my nigga, and if I got any plugs for you or anything I can shoot your way, homie, we going to definitely talk appreciate about it, Appreciate that, man. my God, for real, For bro. real. Make yeah. sure, man, anytime I know you be around here moving around this L.A., man, we always go grab something to eat, church, go Absolutely, sit down. Bro. We can go chop it up, and we can put something together, Let's homie. Let's do it, bro. For I appreciate real. that, bro. For I real. appreciate you. I'm going to chime us out, church. For sure. The Sharp Tank. No jumper. Sharpest coolest podcast in the world. I'm going to show you how we do it around here, church. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Riley, hey, shoot us out the motherfucking gym.